Hello people of the web and YouTube, DTBK here, and welcome back to Hack Time. Anyway guys, today I'm going to be more or less, well, reviewing and or demonstrating what Auto IT can do. And what Auto IT is, it's basically, well, a scripting language or, well, scripting program. And I gotta say, it's kind of a gateway drug to, um, C++ and Python coding. But I'll get more into that later, hopefully. But for now, let's just take a look at the actual program. As you can see, once you have it open, you're, you can type in code basically and once you compiled something and made it you would navigate to the compiler and put in your AU3 file I believe that's just open this up and show you what I mean basically you would hit the uh, the compiler and uh, you would browse to your AU3 file and hit compile and then once you compile these scripts you turn them basically into exes and I gotta say like even though auto IT is not supposed to be used maliciously, I found myself making some really cool like um key loggers and pranks and things with it. Like like I do not condone you on making malicious software with this because on the forums and stuff this program was not meant to be used maliciously. Like if you even type the word keylogger in on your in on the auto IT site, you're pretty much just gonna get assassinated and kicked out of the whole site, so yeah, if you want to learn how to make a keylogger, I suggest just browsing Google, try to stick away from the site. But yeah, anyway guys, what IT basically is, is it's, well, a scripting language, and it can emulate keyboards and things like that. You can even, um, run some scripts to, well, make it so every time you push a key on your keyboard, your keyboard beeps. You can actually remap the keys around, let's say you're, like, in, um... CSGO or something and instead of A and D being left and right you want like the W to be left and right Or well W and S to be left and right you can like remap it so W is now A S is now D you know what I mean But yeah anyway let's just take a close example at one of these scripts shall we anyway I'm gonna look at this um sound keyboard prank script because I found it to be like the easiest to well not really understand but to work with because what it does is it makes a random frequency happen every time you push a key using the user 32.dll and it, it's a pretty good script like I'm gonna actually demonstrate it so I think I can actually record the sound through the the speaker so maybe you'll be able to hear it so yeah anyway to run a script once you have it um all typed out and saved you'll have an AU3 file you can either right click that and hit run or you can hit compile and turn it into an exe to run on a another computer so you don't even need to have auto IT on basically and well yeah I'm gonna run this script and we're just gonna push some keys on my keyboard right about now maybe yeah there I hear it it just had my headset down I'm an idiot sorry Anyway, yeah, you push your keys and now it sounds like something from that future ep futuristic episode of Spongebob, if you know what I mean, where Spongebob's like, beep boop, beep boop, like that. It's like the same kind of sound. I don't know how it some somehow sounds exactly like that. It's using normal um, Windows DLLs to make these noises, but... Yeah, anyway, guys, as you can see, that's basically it for Auto IT. Um... Was it auto it it auto it I believe it was called anyway This program is really cool, and I'm sorry if today's video came off a bit well flustered or if I couldn't talk I just haven't warmed my throat up today, and it's like bleh, it's killing me But yeah, anyway guys once I get a little bit more um Familiar with this program. I will be taking a look at more scripts and perhaps I'll even make some more um scripts and things for it, but yeah, other than remapping the keyboard, there's actually a lot of other things it can do, and I can't name them all off the top of my head, but I'll give you guys a hint at something I may be trying to make in the next video here. I will try to make a bot, like some kind of bot to play a game for me, that way once you start the EXE, you basically, like, auto-aim in a game and stuff like that, you know, just basic, like, game hacks, that kind of a thing. But yeah, anyway, bros, I'm going to leave um, today's video here, but before I do so, I'm going to run one other script real fast, which is the keylogger. And the keyloggers in um, Auto IT, they're actually pretty good. Like, they're flawed. Like, you'll push H and you'll get, like, three H's, or you'll push A and get, like, three A keys, you know? But it's all around a really good um, script. Like, watch this. I'll type hello, 
And if I check out my log here and open it up in, well, the web browser, because I have it all being saved as, um, uh, HTML, which is probably stupid. But, yeah, with that said, like, it does a pretty good job. As you can see here, it messed up with the H, probably because it didn't finish loading. But it will give you everything. Like, if you were to open up Google Chrome and type in Amazon, it will open, it'll make a new line of text here, and... It, it will say Google Chrome, Amazon, and then down below, password, blah, 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 you know? It's a really good, like, program when it comes to recording keys. So if you're running a business, like, even though this could be used maliciously, like, putting this on all your computers in your business would actually, like, it would actually benefit you, you know? Like, somebody's slacking off, you can just open up that HTML file and look at it and be like, oh, you slacked off, you son of a bitch, get back to work. But yeah, anyway, guys, I rattled on long enough, and I said I was going to leave this like five minutes ago. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to leave today's video here on Auto IT, and I'll meet up with the bros in a future video. DTPK is signing off. Peace. You have to have NetCat on both machines in order to do this. You can't just connect to one with it. It's weird. Okay, we got into our FTP server. We're exiting out of it. We got our prog dump file. That time it worked fine.